Kevin Millar, your 04 champ. What year? Uh, that's 2004. What was yours? Uh, 13 and 15, Kevin. Plural. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Tough times go away, tough people don't. This is made out of granite here, Kevin. This is 17 and a half and 20. Retiring? Sounds miserable. This glove was signed to me in 2005. Kevin, was there any good pitchers when you played? We won down From a champ to a runner-up. This man's position. <laughs> Now that is a montage. <laughs> Two-time World Series champion, 13 years of the show. And, I mean, is this not the most important part of the res resume? Multi-time intentional talk guest, Johnny Gomes. Welcome back to the show, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, it's, uh, it's been a while, but I got some interesting stuff going on now. Out here in Harwich, Mass. Kevin Millar, Harwich, Mass. You familiar? Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you, John. Are there any signs out there for Uncle Kevin? Because I think I had about 190 swing and wood bat with all these big draft picks. I wouldn't draft it out of Lamar University. Talk to me. How is it and what are you doing out there? Yeah, man, pretty cool right here. 100-year anniversary of the Cape Cod. So we're out here for the All-Star Game and the Home Run Derby, trying to put a little tech involved. The fans that come, there's going to be a QR code. You get to scan it, and you get to see all the metrics right on your phone, how far, how fast, launch angle, distance, just like the Home Run Derby for the All-Star Game, over 420, get an extra 30 seconds. The only difference is we got some amateur athletes here getting ready to get rich, getting ready to go to the show pretty soon. Yeah, get rich. That's something that you've been because I, I think I've made you famous coming on here back in the day. You introduced us to one of the greatest team in boats. You've been the favorite here on Attention Talk for years. You've jumped in your pool. You've done so many fun things, John. Today, now it looks like you're more business oriented. Is there any, and we can see here, this is the pool episode. When you show pulled it out, kind of a, a tick right there that you can't buy that pool at Dick's Sporting Goods. And then right there, the cannonball. We got the show yep. dog. Stephen Volk, one of the greatest ever. You told me there's this dude I'm going to bring on. I'm like, I never heard of him before. Now he's famous. What are you doing for us yep. today? Yeah, so today I'm just bringing a little awareness to the K-Pod Home Run League. I mean, these are the alphas of all alphas. Uh, the first home run derby champion here was who? The Big Hurt, right? Todd Helton was also in there. Spencer Tolgerson was in there. So the dude who's going to win tomorrow night is probably going to be, you know, up there with one of the best guys that play in our game. Uh, and why not come out and get some lobster rolls, Kev? I'll tell you what, there's a debate about the lobster rolls. So down in Mass, what they do is they have some greenery with mayonnaise. Up here in Horwich, just strictly butter. I'd like to know how you like your lobster roll, Kev. Butter. Butter. I don't want all the mayonnaise okay. stuff. I do that on my, like, turkey Same Rubens here. and all that sauerkraut. And, yeah, I, I, butter's good. It gets me here a little too, you know, too much of that other stuff gets me here a little. Hey, Johnny. Um, congratulations, by the way. You guys are getting ready to have a, a child. You're having a daughter soon. Number six for you. What? Right? So, wow. yeah, six of them. What? You're, you're entering Rod, ba Rod Baraja Sierra. territory. Wow. Stay yep. away. It's a lot. If you stand next yeah, to him, you'll get pregnant. So I'm, cu I'm curious, <laughs> dude, you've grown a lot. You've really grown a lot as a father. How much have you grown since that time you guys won the World Series in, in Kansas City and you were helicoptering your kids around the field? Like, how much How much adjustments? Let's take a look at this, really. You just got to have a heads up. Oh! Ooh. That was Jason Vargas' kid. I mean, you talk about a lot of great genetics getting thrown around right there. But I tell you what, some people might want to go in the stock market. Some people want to go here. I'm just going to have kids, Kev. But these genetics, wouldn't you want to pass these things on? Yeah, getting ready for the Keep grown man six pack. Getting ready for the grown man six pack <laughs> November 4th, uh, the do. And uh, yeah, father first, dad oh, of the well, year, Kev. I'm uh, giving you a run. That is um, unbelievable. Incredible. Sierra, go ahead. Yeah, that you've been amazing. traveling now all over the world for MLB with Home Run Derby X. What's been the most eye opening experience since getting to be an MLB ambassador? You know what? Just having the opportunity to grow this game. Uh, we've done London, we've done Seoul, South Korea. 
uh, Mexico City, getting ready to do it back in the States now, up in uh, Hartford, Connecticut and Fredericksburg. Those two events are already sold out. Uh, it's such a cool event, man, and it's so cool to see these new fans come into our game, seeing some smiles, having the opportunity to be on top of these athletes. And you know what? I'm running around with Nick Swisher. I mean, the fun factor of that level that it's all time highest. But yeah, being an ambassador for the game that was so good to me and taking this thing overseas, the Home Run Derby X has just been, you know, an unbelievable, successful experience. And taking the tech that they're using at the Home Run Derby X with Yakra Tech and Baseball Cloud, bringing it out here to high which mass and uh getting the fans involved getting the players involved pretty sweet so cool now now i i, I got a call today and i had a nice call day with mike griffith and i want to be honest with you if i was to take this because i'm 51 john so i get it like i still think i'm 26 but then you just yep. try to even walk a golf course uh, you know of course we're used to the golf cart carts i can't speak right now because the fake teeth are in my way but my point <laughs> to this question is could I compete in this or am I too old? Because an 04 champ still has a little bit, I thought, but maybe not. If there is ever a doubt about you competing, uh, Dave Eckstein competed for us in London when we had the London <laughs> Cubs series. It took him a while to go from here to here. Too good of a swing, not good of a swing. So yeah, to be really successful yeah. at our event, you gotta be not a good BP guy. You gotta elevate the stepping in the bucket, Kev. I tell you what, you might be my first rounder. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely going to be a pull homer. Hey, um, Johnny, you're there. You're talking to all these young guys, and you're talking about the way the game is integrated now with technology and relating to the younger players. What do you say to these guys? Because you were always that glue in the locker room where you're, you know, pulling teams together and getting the best out of guys. How do you relate to the younger generation? Yeah, man. Coming in with the data, right? The data is a fine line. You know, if the data didn't work, it would be gone. But check out a major league baseball game when every single dude pulls out a card of his back pocket. That's data. You look at the catcher sleeve right here. That's data. Now, the data is like a grocery store, right? Some guys might shop here. Some guys might shop here. Some guys might go organic. The data is just a grocery store. It's how you use it. But touching on these young guys, what you guys can run with, which is real down here, is the Otani effect. We are seeing multiple dudes on the mound, playing first, batting fourth. It's pretty exciting to see where this game is going. Probably, I'd say they're about three to four years out. No, no, no crap right now that the uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, you know two way guys getting to the show. Well, John, one last thing before we let you go. It is time for a yeah. segment that we like to call Secret Santos. This is where you're uh, going to tell us a whoa. secret about yourself that no one yes. knows about you. But I feel like with six kids, it's that you don't own, own a television. <laughs> yeah. No, there's, there's not, there, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a secret about myself. Um, you got a vasectomy. No? Okay. No. <laughs> no. Nope. Nope. Shot nope, through no, that, shot shot in the dark. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. try to. Sorry. Um, um, I, I am a USC. I am a connoisseur no, of vacuums. A oh, really? I am a vacuums. connoisseur of vacuums. You can I literally even know eat this. off my floor. You can eat off my floor. I vacuum my whole house. Do you ever carve logos into your carpet? Thousand percent. The uh, the X's right here. <laughs> yep. Like a ground screw. I, You're a ground screw with a Dyson. I love it. I, I run the robot deal when I'm not there. I got the Dyson one. I got the mop one. I got the Swifter deal. Like, you drop food on my floor with the kids and with everything. You just go right down there with your fork. You're good to go. <laughs> Interesting. That's amazing, Sarah. Yep. That's a really good one. All right. Well, yeah. you want to of vacuums. Yeah. Johnny Roomba Domes right here. <laughs> Thank you so <laughs> much for the time, and we appreciate you coming on to promote exactly what, what you're doing I, out there in the Cape Cod. Can I give a Dyson plug? Because they, they've taken a lot of my money, to tell you the truth, <laughs> right after the Yakky Tech plug and the baseball plug. You know, absolutely. Yeah. Johnny, thank you oh, so man. much. <laughs>